guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nivea. If you are new here, welcome. This is my art channel for my watercolor painting tutorials. So today I will be showing you how I painted Frenchy Penny flowers using watercolors. These are the materials I use for this floral piece. Paper is from Kenson. It's 300 GSM and it's cold pressed. For the paint brushes, I used these pointed round brushes by Scribo. One size is 12 for the faded border later on. One size is 6 for the petals. And size 000 for the details. For the watercolor, I used the Bento Picasso watercolor set by Tokyo Vines. I hope you're ready with your materials. Now let's begin! So I started sketching out the flowers. Frangipani flowers usually have five petals and one side of each petal has a small fold. If you're not familiar yet with how Frangipani flowers look like and how to draw them, check out on Google and study its form. It's what I usually do. I look at different pictures of a particular subject and practice drawing it until I finally get how to draw it without looking at references. After the sketch, it's time to paint the first layer of paint on the petals. So here, I'm wetting the paper with clean water and drop the light wash of pink. The watercolor set I'm using does not have a pink color included, so I just mixed cadmium red and a bit of white to get this shade of pink. I'm gently dragging the color towards the center of the flower and constantly wiping off the excess paint using a tissue so that the paint becomes lighter. And while the paper is still wet, I drop the light wash of cadmium yellow and gently brush it towards the pink color. Now I'm making the pink color darker by glazing it with the same light wash of pink color that we used in the first layer of paint. Just repeat the same process we did in the first petal and throughout all the petals. At this point, I'm darkening the side of the petal again and still using the same light wash of pink color. I didn't add more paint or pigment to the mixture. I'm almost done in the first flower, just adding some contrast again by darkening this side of the petal. A tissue on hand is really a must whenever I use this technique on my paintings.
Now I'm adding a light wash of orange at the center and gently brush it towards the petals so that it merges with the yellow color. After the orange paint has dried out, I dropped a little amount of burnt umber and gently spread it again towards the side of the petals. You can now see that it looks so much better because of the contrast of colors. Now it's time for the details on the petals. I know this may be hard, especially if you're not used to this kind of detail and you got sweaty and shaky hands like mine. What I do is that before I paint the details, I practice first on an extra sheet of paper just to warm up my hands and you can do the same too. And one more thing, I make sure that I'm not hungry because once I feel my hunger, my hands tend to shake. So you should make sure that you are relaxed enough and you're feeling perfectly well. Right here, I'm brushing a lighter wash of pink on the fold of the petals. I just diluted the light pink that I used for the petals a while ago. This part is the finishing touches for this flower, so I'm just um, defining the shadows and contrast. This is how it looks after I finished painting all the flowers and did the same to the upper right corner of the paper. Since I wanted to write a coat here, I decided to add a faded border just for additional design.
the faded border I'm painting is not a flat color. I'm going for a little texture so you can see me make dotting strokes on the paint for texture. Aside from watercolor painting, I'm also into calligraphy and hand lettering. I'm doing faux calligraphy at this point using my Sakura Pigma Micron Pen. So, our finished product looks like this. And that ends our painting session today. I do hope you have learned something from this tutorial. Please let me know in the comment section of this video your thoughts, your questions, or suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And click the notification bell to get notified immediately on my new uploads. See you guys next week. Goodbye!